think I like doing a lot of just uh, just art in general. I like to be able to create and then also create things for people who are going to have them permanently on their body for the rest of their life. So that's what I like the most about it. And also seeing the faces after they walk out and they're pretty happy that they got really badass tattoos. That's what it's all about, you know. You know, getting the concept from someone, um, uh, doing a couple drawings, uh, building together some sketches, and then uh, see what kind of composition you're going to create out of the piece. Um, so those are the beginning steps, and then after that, we kind of finalize it. See the idea? They like it. We just uh, start tattooing it. And then on for the next part is uh, selecting all the colors. Everything's single use, single pour. So what you pour is it's what you get. Right. Mm -hmm. Always check to make sure the cap's screwed down before you shake it. Otherwise, you end up a wall full of ink. What was it? Which really sucks. I don't even remember. She was like, if you don't shoot her, I was about to shoot her. I like the fact that a lot of them uh, come to me specifically uh, just to get to their, their work done. So it's kind of a very really personal bond between your uh, tattoo artist and your client and stuff. And that's, I guess, the best thing about it. Yeah. It's not like drawing or painting or anything like that. It's entirely different. In fact, I wouldn't really even count it into those categories at all. Um, it's, I know it's, it's an art form in a sense, but it's also much more of a technical skill. Well, uh, you know, from here to Europe and doing tattoos and also just meeting great people uh, and developing the shop and stuff like that. Kind of, uh, Bemidji was for a while there uh, not really in tune with a lot of the, the tattoo industry in the world. Um, and not the fact, not to say that they didn't have tattoo shops or anything. They just didn't have uh, the the connections that other tattoo industry people have. And so I kind of wanted to bring that to Bemidji and uh, make it on a map for the other tattoo artists and other shops around the world that they know that there's this cool shop in Bemidji. So I, I really take my job very seriously. Um, the main reasons why is because this isn't just. Uh, I know, a lot of people just think, oh, it's tattoos, you know, it's the low end of the art field or whatever. But uh, a lot of it is very much more than what a lot of people perceive. Um, especially other artists in the in different uh, genres and different fields and stuff like that. They might not really understand anything about the tattoo industry. We like to keep it that way. Uh, your apprenticeship with uh, Tats by Zap out of Duluth in Stillwater, Minnesota. Um, they're pretty much old school tattooers from... New York, upstate New York, uh, they can trace their pretty much their apprenticeship history all the way back to the Bowery in, uh, in uh, New York City, probably in the late 1890s or so. So the knowledge that's been passed down from each people, if, you know, accumulated is almost over 100 years. Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to go with Baron Soundy. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Oh, he's a voodoo uh, <laughs> gun of the dead or whatever. Yeah, the I, told him, like, oh, I told him, like, you want somebody to practice so let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I see that. <laughs> you want to see it? And I want to see you get whacked. <laughs> I already showed you. <laughs> I can do uh, uh, anything from portraits to old school, new school watercolor. I mean, I do just about everything. 